sixth grade. Today we are going to um, add a frame to our print so that it looks even more finished and professional. So what you're going to get at your table is you have two bottles of glue. Um, you're going to share and in between sharing you're going to spritz it down and, and sanitize it before you pass it to another person. To open glue, it twists at the top. You can see that it opens right here and that's how you can tell it's open. You also want to hear it. You want to hear it be able to breathe. If it doesn't breathe, it might not um, work as well for you. Now you don't want to put the glue on the black paper. You want to put the glue on the back of your print. So you're going to take the tip of your glue and you're going to touch it to the paper. It shouldn't hover above. Touch it to the tip of your paper and you're just going to drag a thin, thin line all the way around. Now you can see how thin my line is because you probably can't even see it on video. Um, you might be able to see a little bit up here, a little bit down there. Because I touch it to the table, I can get a control of how much glue that I'm using. When you have that done, you are going to stand up and hover your picture above the black frame. When you see that it's even all the way around and nothing is crooked, you're gently going to lay it down and tap the edges. You should not see any glue oozing. Okay? If you have glue oozing, you used too much. Make sure it's touching the, the actual paper as you drag it. When you're done with the glue, you're going to twist it close and you're going to wipe off the tip. And that's what keeps the glue from working. It will work all the time as long as you close that nozzle. Remember, lefty loosey, that opens it up, righty tighty, closes it. Now, now that I've glued this one down, you can't see the name of the person. So this one here, we're going to flip over. You can use regular pencil or if you have a silver sharpie, that works good too. And I'm going to put the name on the paper um, and then six sour. You are going to photograph these again today so that it looks even more um, final. You're going to place this version in your digital art portfolio. Um, make sure you double click it once it's in your portfolio so you can crop it. So all I want to see is the frame and the print, not hands, not people, not table space. And so it's a really great version. And then I want you to answer the question in your portfolio. And it's always a great idea after we finish a unit to check PowerSchool to make sure you're not missing any other work. Thank you.